today we're looking at the O Knife Beagle that O Light sent me uh, as because I'm one of their affiliates. So I mean, we're not really gonna we're not really gonna spend a lot of time here talking about it. So uh, why don't you guys turn down the volume so we can listen to a little bit of music. apologize in advance if I seem out of sorts in this video. I do not feel well. Uh, I have a doctor's appointment scheduled for tomorrow, but I'm hoping I get better before the wife and kid get back. So um, this is that O Knife Beagle that they sent me. Uh, like I said, I am an affiliate, so if you are interested in this, you can use my affiliate link down below if you want to purchase it. This is a nice little knife. It is done for them by Kaiser. So um, yeah, there's not a lot to talk about on it. It is a fairly plain knife. It's attractive, it's comfortable, but uh, it's a pretty nice little knife. So let's turn it around and we'll get some weight, we'll get some specs and all of that out of the way and I'll tell you about it. Uh, I didn't use it as much as I use other knives because like I said, I am saving this knife as a giveaway for the paying members. So since I have it and it, it's in pristine shape pretty much, I figured that's what we do. But let's go ahead and turn it around and take a look at it from above. Guys, this is that O Knife Beagle by O Light Company. Uh, what you're looking at is a 7.6 inch overall length on this. It has a three inch, three uh, 3.3 inch, 154 cm flat ground harpoon blade. Now there is no thickness listed on O Light's website, which is where I got all the specs from. So you are looking at a point. One two point one two one two one one two five somewhere in that range blade with a behind the edge thickness of this is a relatively thin knife. I'm kind of curious about what the uh, behind the edge thickness. Point zero two six five zero two seven somewhere in that range. Um, it is called the Beagle because the designer loves. Uh, dogs. Um, so handle length on this, you're looking at uh, 4.3 inches. It's done as a liner lock with olive micarta scales, uh, black liner and all that. It is running on ceramic bearings. And for the final spec, let's get this out of the way and bring that scale in. So for final spec, they are saying it is 3.44 ounces or 97.3 grams. Let's go ahead uh, let's just go ahead and get the grams out of the way. 97 for three for those of you that don't use freedom units. Uh, this is coming in at 96. However, I will tell you the specs could be a little off because they did have G10 list as the handle material on this, even though it is micarta. So in ounces, they got 3.44. I'm going to say it's going to come in three and three eighths. Not a heavy knife, just about three ounces ish. Sorry about that noise. Um, yeah, this knife is great. Action on it's great. The blade is nice and broad. It comes down to a nice thin edge. Markings on it are all attractive. It is serialized, and this is an Ozo design, which if I know, if I, I believe that that's one of the owners of Kaiser who is producing this. These are serialized. This is number 1529. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into I carried this a little bit. I tried to be real careful with it because, like I said, I'm doing it as a giveaway for the paying members. It's an attractive little knife. It's not heavy. It carries well. The action on it is really good, um, as I would expect, knowing now that it comes from Kaiser. Uh, the black liners and everything give it a really good look. They've been skeletonized, as you can see down in there. Um, skeletonized, so it is nice and light. Pretty much all of your weight is a little bit forward. Uh, pocket clip on this is one of those big tall pocket clips, the deep carry clips. This is the exact same pocket clip that was on the Kaiser Lan. And you guys know how much I disliked the pocket clip on that knife. It does not bother me anywhere near as badly on this knife. It still kind of bothers me a little, but not to the point where it would be, like I said, with the Kaiser Lan. I just would not buy the Kaiser Lan or I would buy a pocket clip to to fit it that would be something more along the lines of what I want. The pocket clip does shift a little. And that's I've noticed that with a lot of these pocket clips that have this split so you can get to them. I am not a fan of that. It lets them move. I've seen other clips that were designed like this and they do not move, but I, I just, I think 
there's something with the way that they're doing these pocket clips that allows them to shift. Um, action on it, it's thumb stud only. It is great. The jimping on it is not great, however. The jimping on it is pretty much just there for show. It is not got, it's not at all aggressive. It does not give you much in the way of of purchase on that. It's kind of slippery. Uh, it does have a really attractive blade shape and grind. Um, I did touch this up. I didn't cut any cardboard or anything. I didn't want to cut anything that would really scar the blade, but I did do some cutting. I cut some fabric. I cut some stuff around the house. I did some kitchen tasks with this, and then I did touch it up just ever so slightly on a ceramic rod. 154 CM is a relatively good steel. It, it's actually one of those steels that like Bob Terzuola swears by it. He's like, that's the steel that he makes all of his knives in because he likes the way it grinds. He likes the the way it, he can work it and things like that. It is really, 154 CM is really similar to a steel that I like a lot, which is RWL 34. So it takes a pretty pretty crisp and clean edge. Yeah, I like it better than I like like CPM 154, the powdered version. I don't like it. I would much rather have 154 CM. Uh, like I said, thumb stud only. There is no flipper tab. It's really comfortable in hand, um, even with my big hands. It's pretty comfortable in hand. I wish it had, I, I wish it just had a little bit of a more of a finger twirl because I, this, um, once you're, past, once you're behind the pivot on this, it feels a little bit longer than I really kind of like. I, usually I like to like choke up on it. And the problem with it is this is really close and you can get in there and, and cut yourself. Like I, I can feel the edge touching right there. I would want on this knife to be able to get up into that harpoon like that. And you got to be really careful how you do it. I just wish this was not necessarily a full finger choil, but maybe this was a little bit longer. But all in all, this is a really nice knife. Came packaged well. Uh, hang on a second. Let me get, get the packaging so you guys can see it. So it came packaged really well. Attractive packaging. You open it up and it's got the typical. This is what you would expect when you buy an Olight. It has that little thing that pops up and then you have some instructions. There is a wipey cloth that came with it that I have no idea where it went, guys. So whoever wins the giveaway, I apologize. You're not getting the wipey cloth. And then it comes with a nice pouch and a coin. So it came with a challenge coin, as you can see. So this is going to be something I give away to the paying members. Uh, these are pretty cool. I don't know when I'm going to do this, but this is, this is pretty cool little packaging. I like the fact it comes with a little challenge coin and stuff. Now, price on this is right at $79. So it's not going to break the bank. It's a good little knife. If you like Kaiser, you're going to like this. It's not a bad design at all. I, it's just not something I'm going to carry. Not that it's not a good knife. It's just, I've got so many knives. It's just not something that would be, the pocket clip has a lot to do with it. Like, if, if I was going to keep it, would I carry it? Probably not. The pocket clip kind of is just, it wiggles and it's a little tall. It doesn't bother me as badly, like I said, in this as other Kaisers that use this pocket clip, but it's still just, it puts it out of that thing where I'm going to carry it. So it's going to be a giveaway. Guys, that's pretty much it on this. Let's turn this around and do some final thoughts. The edit on this, while I was doing the edit, I realized that kind of this, this, uh, this review didn't go the way a lot of them do, and that's because I just did not use the knife as hard as, say, some of the other knives I review because I do want to do it as a giveaway. So I apologize if this kind of feels like I'm dialing, like I kind of phoned in the review. It's just I could only review what I did with it, and there was a lot of stuff I just didn't do with this knife. It's still great. I know it would accomplish any of those tasks, but I kind of wanted something to keep it nice and clean for the members. So just before we roll into it, just that real quick little thing. There. So like I said, guys, yeah, I'm saving this as a giveaway. This is a nice little knife. Pocket clip on this isn't great. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like I said at the tabletop, it's not great, but it doesn't bother me as much as it does on other knives. It's the same pocket clip, it just doesn't bother me as bad as it did on some other knives. So yeah, I mean, that's it, guys. If, if you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down, but please try to tell me why. I can't change the content if you don't tell me what you don't like. I use it as a metric so I can figure out what videos do well with you guys and what don't. Um, if you want to support the channel, it's as simple as like I always say, like, share, subscribe, drop a comment, drop some views, all that stuff that supports the channel, pushes up, pushes us up the algorithm, all channels it does. Uh, but if you want to support the channel financially, there's a bunch of ways you can do it. I have down in the description, I have a join tab, gets you in on my membership 
for in YouTube where you get early access to video, exclusive content by based on tier premium tier sharpening tutorial series, um, and you save five dollars off per sharpening through my sharpening service. Other ways you could do it, I have affiliate links all down below. Like I said in, uh, earlier, you can order things through the affiliate links. I get a portion of the money at checkout, and it doesn't cost you anything. The final way is I have a merchandise store through Ember Shirt Co. Um, and I have a coupon code set up for you guys on Ember Shirt Co. The coupon code is Crazy Sharp, all one word, capital C, capital S, Crazy Sharp, all one word, saves you 10% at checkout. And if you have a shirt and you take a picture of yourself wearing it, I will put it in the videos. Um, guys, that's it. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comment section. It makes it easier to moderate the channel. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I will see you in the next video.